you. I apologize for my tardiness. I guess you know where I was. The <laughs> session. It's also free. Um, appreciate you being here. I thank you for the opportunity to uh, speak before you tonight. Um, I have been your city councilman for nine years, and uh, probably one of the greatest honors I've ever had in my life, growing up as a little boy on Beams Road, uh, walking to school to the old Silas and home. Uh, that also has been my um, life. And uh, I'm so glad that I can give back some of that. Um, and I say some because I'm one of seven representatives on our city council, and uh, it, takes, it takes four, at least, to get anything done. And uh, I'm so glad that I've been a part of that opportunity for the last nine years. And I'm here tonight to ask you again for four more years, another opportunity to serve, to serve more. We've done a lot in the past uh, nine years. Um, as you can see, if you drive by the water treatment plant, um, a lot of money has gone into that. Uh, that infrastructure, ability to um, take care of the bad and the good <laughs> of Valdosta when it comes to water and sewer. And um, I think we've got, a great, we've got great facilities that we can be proud of. Um, and um, I think now we're ready for bigger and better things uh, for Valdosta. Um, and I have a real simple, um, campaign three points. Um, the first is for uh, a safe city. Um, I uh, do all that I can do as a councilman to vote for uh, the support that our uh, public, our, um, our police officers, our fire department, our water treatment, uh, and our public works need. Um, these are sung and unsung heroes of our, of our um, community. Um, we hear stories all the time uh, about how they risk their lives on a daily basis. My dad was a police officer from Valdosta City uh, when I was a little boy, and um, a lot has changed in many, many years since I was a little boy. And uh, I want to do everything that I can do uh, to support these men and women and help keep them safe as they keep us safe. Um, fire, uh, we just looked at some uh, new equipment. Um, did you know that firemen can get, and women, can get uh, cancer from smoke that goes through their uniforms? You're not aware of that? You are now. And uh, we're looking at, uh, again, supporting our fire department uh, with some new uniforms. Um, and this doesn't come at a um, cheap cost. Um, but one of my points as councilman is to be frugal with your money and my money. It's our tax money that pulls together to support um, everything that we've come to expect from our city government. And I want to continue to be frugal, be that voice. Uh, um, um, sometimes um, my kids would say, I'm the no dad, and I would say no uh, a lot to them. And uh, sometimes we do have to say that because the expenditure is, is not uh, really uh, for the betterment of everyone in Valdosta. But certainly uh, we do want to support uh, these people. And, uh, who work so diligently, so hard, and do so much for our lives and make our city so great. Um, <clears throat> the other thing, um, other than frugal spending, um, would be uh, an opportunity um, to build a better Valdosta together. Um, we live in an age when we turn on the news, if you still watch the news, um, where there's so much division, and it's certainly um, trickle down to Valdosta, and um, I think sometimes we talk about division when there's really not division, we just know that there's division somewhere, um, but we have a lot of great people here in Valdosta, and um, can we do better together? Yes, we can do better together, we can't do better apart. Um, if you take logs on the fire and you pull those logs apart, what happens to your fire? Your fire goes out. But when those logs are put together, kept together, then that fire will continue to roar. And I think our Valdosta can certainly continue to roar as we work together. Um, uh, we need to be a work-ready city, and for my final point, um, if we want to encourage businesses to come to our city, we do need to be safe. We, need to, need to, need to, we do need to have a safe city with good water and sewer and fire protection, police protection. Um, <clears throat> But we need to be work ready, and that's the part that we can do. We can encourage our students to stay in school. Um, we have some of the greatest opportunities in Valdosta. 
Utah Washington State Schools. I'm a graduate. There are many graduates here, I'm sure, of that. Uh, Utah Washington State College, Navajo University, Wiregrass University, and um, the, uh, the community college that we have here. Um, there's something for everyone right here in Valdosta. We need to be ready and encourage our, people, our young people to stay in school, to become trained, so that those, when those corporations come in and look at Valdosta, we will be work ready and we'll say, we've got the workforce, we just need you to come in and we'll go and work for you. I ask you again, please vote for Ben Norton for, and re-elect me as your city councilman at large. Early voting begins Monday 14th. I hope you go out, take a friend for Ben. I appreciate your votes. Thank you.